Hey, 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 Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger, coming to you for Tuesday Tidbits. Uh, today is uh, January the 18th of 2022, I think. <laughs> it's either the 18th or 19th, but I think it's the 18th. Okay, anyhow, uh, we had, in my part of the country of the U.S. of A., we had a little bit of snow and ice. And so, I'm just still hunkered down. Not that I couldn't get out. Just, you know, don't want to get out. <laughs> I have no reason to get out. So, I'm just going to stay snuggled and wuggled up. Um, my live snuggly bud buddy is still in the bed. That's That would be my furry maxi boo. He's still in the bed even. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's pajama day. Uh, second day in a row. I still got my... Uh, Mickey jammers on. But anyway, um, here's a couple of pictures of uh, some of the precipitation that we got mm -hmm. and a little clip that I sent to a friend. I just want you to hear this wind. Oh, sorry. We probably ended up with another two inches uh, after these pics were shot. But yeah, it was, it was, now I know, I know so many of you live in areas where you get a lot of precip, but here in North Carolina, we don't, maybe once a year, maybe twice a year, we get precip, you know, wintry stuff. But a lot of times it's ice and it gets kind of scary. We were lucky this time though, because I think the winds um, stayed up. We got a lot of sleet, so ice falling, but the winds kept it from sticking to the trees too bad, which was a good thing, especially with all these big trees around my house here. But anyway, also coming to you today with some pictures of some beautiful Afghan, Afghan makes. Uh, had had a few subscribers and friends send uh, some uh, pictures of it. I'm so happy you guys are sharing with me, and I'm glad that uh, you want to share with everybody else. Yes, this is the Calming Comfort Afghan uh, makes by the Crochet Crowd um, and Jeannie. Um, they have a tutorial uh, make-along going along right now, and I think they just released the last section of the... Uh, tutorial. So, if you're interested, go over to the crochet crowd and, and make it along with us. I have quite a ways to go. I'm a little behind, but hey, we're not going to look at it in that negative way. If I get it made in another three weeks time or another month, that's fine with me. I'll show you mine on my live stream this Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I guess that'd be the 20th of January. Oh, and also, before I forget it, I'll be joining um, Crystal, the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. I think that's right. Yes. Anyway, I'll be joining her on Friday at 6.30 Central Time for her live stream. So, join me over there. But let's take a look at some of these wonderful pictures. Thank you all again for uh, for sending them to me. In order of appearance, as they appeared in my email, Dory did it in some beautiful colors, didn't she? Jax is using Aurora yarn with some pretty purples and grays. Dottie's using Karen Cakes in the color Sugared Cherry. Here's Cindy Malters. What a pretty palette. Maribel is using Karen Cakes, too. And here's Dawn's. Man, it looks like harvest. Pretty. Well, the premise of this video was supposed to be how we can wrap up in our beautiful makes with calming comfort in this cold wintry precipitation some of us are getting. Therefore, I'm using Memoji again because I'm too lazy to set up the camera. Anyway, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing. I think they're all beautiful, and I'm loving seeing the color combos and the way the yarns are working up. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun, I think. Anywho, 
If you guys want to continue uh, sharing your progress, please continue to send the pics, okay? And uh, anybody new want to join in and share what you're doing on the cal calming comfort blanket? I'll spit it out in a minute. <laughs> you can find my email in the description box below, okay? Thanks, guys. And uh, hey, see you next time. Mwah. Bye.